Hi everyone, this is Josh. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome back. Be sure to like this video and to subscribe so I can keep producing awesome content for you guys. I'm really excited about this video because I'm going to finally tell you all where I got this sweatshirt from. The one that says Caltech. And yes, I did indeed get it from Caltech. And the story behind me getting a sweatshirt was that I got it because I did an internship at Caltech. A research fellowship there for three months. And it was a paid fellowship opportunity in which I did scientific research with a lab at Caltech. It was one of my most favorite jobs that I've ever had, ever, in all of the jobs I worked in, which I'll make another video about. But in this video, I want to talk about my most meaningful research experience. It was such a huge thing for me to do research at Caltech because I remember when I was in high school, I fantasized about going there for undergrad. Realistically, though, I didn't apply because truthfully, I did not have the grades as well as the SAT scores to meet their average or even close to their average. Caltech is a very, very difficult undergrad to get into. And if you got into it, congrats, because it is very hard. You need to have a super high GPA and a super high SAT score or ACT score. And even then, chances are you still might not get in because the school is so small they can only admit a certain amount of students. The bottom line is that Caltech is a very hard school to get into. Even though I didn't go there for undergrad, I didn't apply there when I was in high school. When I was in college, I saw that there were research opportunities open for students of other universities to do research at Caltech. So I just decided, well, what is there to lose? So I just applied to that specific summer undergraduate research fellowship at Caltech. And lo and behold, after emailing and contacting many potential mentors, I found one who was completely on board with the project I wanted to work on. He was willing to sponsor my project. And that's something that you may have to consider when you apply to the Caltech Summer Undergraduate Research Fellowship, which is known as the SURF program. I'm not sure if I could put an image up there. The SURF program is unique because you can apply to that summer undergraduate research program and you can pretty much get in so long as you have a faculty member who agrees to sponsor your research. And that is where the tricky part of getting into that program lies because it's kind of difficult to ask a Caltech faculty member to essentially pay for your research expenses as an undergrad who does not go to Caltech. From their perspective, it may not seem like that there is too much for them to gain out of it, so to say. However, if the professor there is really willing to train undergrads and take the time to do so, which the professor I worked for was, then that is something that is really powerful and something that you should really thank them for if that's what they end up choosing to do for you. This not only applies to Caltech, but I'm sure that there are surf programs at other universities too. This was just specifically the case at Caltech, where the surf program had very high acceptance rates, but it was under the condition that you had to be able to find a mentor who was willing to sponsor you because the surf program didn't have any outside funding. The funding had to come from your principal investigator. So what I often did was that I would read upon many different principal investigators' websites, as well as their profiles on caltech.edu. And if I found out that their project really resonated with me, I would write them an email asking if they were taking students during the summer. Sometimes it can be pretty tough to hop onto a project because for the SURF program specifically, the PI actually has to pay for the project. They have to sponsor it. So it's coming out of their funding. So many times, understandably so, some PIs may be hesitant to take on undergrads, especially undergrads outside of Caltech and sponsor them to do research within Caltech. So the bottom line is that if you find a PI who is willing to sponsor you, that is something that is really huge and something you should really thank them a lot for, which is what I did with my PI. I really thanked him so much for sponsoring me because this PI, he was really geared towards teaching undergrads and he really wanted them to learn and he wanted to give them a view into what you can expect as a grad student. Because when I did research at Caltech, I was considering medical school or graduate school. I wasn't really too sure between the two of them, even though I was actually more leaning towards going into medicine. I really loved research and research is something I really want to continue while in medical school. 
So I thought this was a perfect opportunity for me. Number one, because I always dreamed of going to Caltech when I was in high school. So it would kind of fulfill that dream in some respect, even though I wasn't an undergrad student there. Number two, it was an amazing research opportunity. The project that I hopped on, it was working with CRISPR-Cas9, which was an insane technology that we have heard a lot of controversially so in the news. Number three, I really like this project specifically because it was dealing with developmental neurobiology. And as a neurobio major who was really fascinated by the brain in high school, this project really spoke to me and it was something I wanted to hop onto. So those were the reasons why I decided to do that project. Doing research at a university like Caltech is huge. And it's something that you can most definitely put on your LinkedIn and on your resume and on your CV. And every time I've come across people and employers who have looked at my resume, they've said, oh my gosh, wow, you worked at Caltech? You did research there? Tell me more about it. And it's something that's actually popped up in medical school interviews a lot too. Because everybody knows that Caltech is the center of science <laughs> or MIT, but I don't know. I don't think I should talk too much about MIT in this video because it's focused on Caltech and they have an intense rivalry. But yes, apply through the SURF program and I'll provide the link in the description. Anyway, the SURF program is one opportunity you can use to apply to Caltech. Another opportunity you can use is the Amgen Scholars program. I did Amgen Scholars when I was at UCLA. However, Caltech has their very own Amgen Scholars program. And unlike the SURF program, to my knowledge, the Amgen Scholars program is sponsored by Amgen, which is the second largest biotech company after Genentech. So the Amgen Scholars program is sponsored not by the principal investigators funding, but rather by the funding that comes from the Amgen biotech company. As a result, if you get into Caltech via the Amgen Scholars Program to do research there during the summer, there's a chance that many, many more PIs will want to take you under their wing in order to do research with them. Because the funding is not coming out from their pocket. It's coming out from Amgen's pocket. So many PIs will be more willing to train you. Some may perhaps say no if they don't have the time or the resources to train you because it still requires a effort on their part. However, the opportunities open up more because now funding isn't an issue for the principal investigators and they can more easily be willing to accept you into their labs. So bottom line is that you can apply using the SURF program as well as the Amgen Scholars program. I've also heard of another program called the WAVE program and chances are I could be wrong about what the WAVE program is. I believe this program is a program geared more towards minorities so if you're of minority status, you could apply to the WAVE program and also do research at Caltech through that. I also could be wrong, but I believe the WAVE program, the funding works the same exact way as the Amgen Scholars program. So they're funded by an outside company, not so much the PI themselves. So I remember in the summer of 2019, when I was at Caltech, there was about 950 students there. The vast majority of them were working in the SURF program, including me. They only had about 20 or 30 students who were under the Amgen Scholars or the WAVE program in total. So what I'm trying to say is that it's actually, it's very easy to get into the SURF program so long as you have a mentor who's willing to sponsor you. However, the Amgen Scholars program is harder to get into because the spots in the Amgen Scholars program are less. You could apply to both programs. You could apply to the SURF program or the Amgen Scholars program, as well as the WAVE program. You could apply to all three programs at the same time and then see which one you get into. That is something that I did when I was applying to the Caltech programs. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comments below and I'd be happy to answer them. In the meantime, I'm Josh and I will see you in the next video. Take care.